हेलो एवरी वन आई एम हैप्पी सिंह सत श्रीकाल एंड टूडे एपिसोड इज़ गोइंग टू बी स्पेशल वन एंड आई एम सो एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट वाई आई एम एक्साइटेड बिकॉज आई एम जॉइन विद द माई फ्रेंड माई मैंटो सुखजीत सिंह हेलो वेलकम टू यू चैनल हेलो हरप्रीत इट इज अ प्लेजर एंड ऑनर टू बी विद यू ऑन योर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड हेलो टू एवरी वन हु इज़ वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो या थैंक यू सो मच इट्स ऑनर टू हैव यू हेयर सो सुखजीत सिंह हैज help me with so much like he showed me the canadian values how to uh, he showed me behavior skills communication skills and he actually showed me the impact a big impact can be made if when you start participating in volunteer activities and like like me he also helped hundreds if not thousands of in, uh, international students and immigrants who are coming to canada to make their life more better like he has helped he has provided so much value in everyone's life so before like we start the video i would like really love it like if you can just uh, tell us about yourself like what you do and what are you doing nowadays oh first of all thank you for saying all that uh when you said canadian value i only remember how i learned it my my role is to pass it on that is what i do yeah. every day yeah uh at work i work with uh, one of the best organization it's newcomer information center uh, which is run by the center for education and training and i am uh, based in brampton uh, the over head office in mississauga so my role is uh, you know in everyday life i actually meet newcomers uh, at my work uh, where we provide some information and referral to those newcomers family and uh, beyond that i as a volunteer i contribute in in uh, in a way that i put some value and i share my learning which i have learned from others mm -hmm. so and also you know uh, again coming back to what you said canadian value i was not born and raised in canada i was not educated in canada but i was taught uh, and that teaching came through volunteer work that what is a canadian value and what are canadian values actually not one value but what are canadian values and i picked the the best one which i loved it is to give back to the community and yeah. that is what we call is volunteer work yeah. yeah it's so interesting like you mentioned like you learned before and then you start teaching those to the other people yes. like this is so much like even like i'm i want to do that like the values i am learning now like i want to share everything with the people like it's You are so, doing so. it already. <laughs> no, you are doing I, it already. You have started, I, by the way, right? And I'm I'm so glad and congratulations, yeah. because you have uh, shown uh, not to only me as a mentor, but to the world that uh, how quick you are learning, how quick you are actually sharing that learning, mm. and how unique you are, because no. not many international students they do what you are doing. No, thank you. So thank congratulations you. once again. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So. Yeah, you have you are entitled with one of the top twenty five Canadian immigrants. Like this title is sounds so good, but I know like when you earn this title, it brings so many responsibilities on you. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. So like, what what you actually did to get this prestigious award, and what was your mindset back at that time? Like when you were on the stage and receiving the title. This getting this award means a lot to me, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh the answer which you actually gave uh is it was my response that it any award gives you responsibility and this award is very special in my life because this was the first one uh which i received and after that you know it was like a flood gate was opened and every other year i was doing something that i got multiple other awards also but this award is an outcome of and that outcome came very uh, very in a very short time because my my first learning was to give back and i started giving back before even i had a job mm, right yeah. so when you have uh, no job you are looking for a job but you are already giving back so i am very fortunate that in my early journey i got to know that what is the value of volunteerism and i i i jumped into only to try it but once i jumped into this this uh, activity uh my life changed you know i felt confident i felt that my 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 trust in the society my confidence in in me it it came back because uh, you are giving without thinking what will come back yeah. to you right but always remember i did not 
I did not, I was very new. I had no network. I had no knowledge of, because for any immigrant, the first thing is to get a job, right? And when we are looking for a job, many people will tell you many things, right? They simply say volunteer, networking, yeah, this yeah, and that. Yeah. So you many, have to do one thing, right? Yeah. So I'm so glad I picked that volunteer work. And, and I started uh, doing it. And I never stopped it. It has been now 10 years for, for me in Canada and my family. There is only one thing which I did not stop, which is to learn. And I learned through my volunteer work. So it was very interest, interesting. Like you mentioned, you started giving back to community. So you already start developing that mindset. Like you have to give back. And maybe like whatever you give, that will come back to you, right? No, that was not that something will come back to me. Okay. And I tell you, Harpreet, honestly, I have to tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. When you uproot yourself and you come to this country, always remember that uh, as a human being, you you are you are going to struggle initially, mm -hmm. right? And that struggle can be different for different people. Mm -hmm. My other struggle was that what would be my identity if I am I'm in Canada now? If I'm an immigrant, I'm an immigrant. But how will I make an identity? Yeah. When I say identity, is, is it, it is not the physical identity. I, I follow a religion, which I'm, I'm proud Sikh, proud Indian, proud from India. Uh, and very proud Czech, right? That is one thing. But other part is as a human being, what you would like to be known for. Mm -hmm. yeah. My biggest question was this, that, okay, I may end up like many other thousands of others who come to Canada, do a job, buy a home, uh, enjoy your time with your family. Yeah. But what identity? And like what you will be known for? The, like so, well, there is nothing wrong with that. Like yeah, not, that, nothing wrong. But you wanted to do something extra. Something extra which yeah. will stand out personally for me. Yeah. But uh, in that me, I found out that uh, you know a lot of learning through this uh, this experience as a volunteer be it a board, be it a committee, or yeah. just as a frontline volunteer, because I love that frontline. I'm a volunteer ambassador, right? Which means wherever I go, I speak on behalf of thousand other volunteers and speak on behalf of a certain organization which I support, which is Volunteer MBC in Peel Region. We have one volunteer center. And I'm very proud that I, my life started with that, that one organization as a, as a volunteer ambassador. And then uh, I became a board member. And now I, I continue to promote that particular center, which connects with volunteer opportunities and uh, uh -huh. those who are looking for those volunteer opportunities. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Like that's how like throughout your journey, you got your answer, like how you're going to identify yourself and yes. stand out. Yes. That's how you got. So I'm answer. identified as a, as a volunteer ambassador. Volunteer like, ambassador. If yeah. anybody is looking for somebody, even if uh, they, they are just thinking of an event where they want to promote volunteerism, I'm the one. They I'm chose the you. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. That's so wonderful. So like, I remember that I had this opportunity to meet you in one of your event and you were sharing your story and the benefit sides of volunteerism. Uh, and I, if you remember, like I, I, remember. I was, I, I officially met you at that day. Yes, I remember. And that was like one of the turning moments in my life. I remember. <laughs> yeah. For me as well, because I met you. Yeah. 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 No, thank you. Like, and that was like one of the interactions. Uh, like I, I'm gonna remember for a long time. Maybe like for a long time. You have any like that kind of particular interaction with someone, like maybe one of your followers or international student or maybe immigrant, like. You had this chit chat with them, and you are you still remembering that moment, and you're gonna remember that. I please share. I tell you, I exactly remember, and uh, you know we are all uh, we are all human beings, yeah. but we all have some kind of a special talent. I won't call it a special talent, but I never forget, mm -hmm. and especially when when I meet wonderful individuals like yourself. And you, it's so interesting that you're talking about it now because recently I met a couple whom I met at the same event. On uh, the same day? On the same day. Wow, okay. But I want to mention about you. There is a reason why. Because I know many of international students, when they come, they have a lot of responsibility. Not only the education, not only settling in Canada, but a lot of other types of pressure. But you and there were two more students, you all stood out. And why you stood out? Because you j did not just come and leave. You came, you listened, but then you asked questions. You remember when we were coming out, you asked so many questions. 
I could see the twinkle in your yeah. eyes. I could see there is a fire in you that you want to do something. Mm-hmm. But I will be closely watching your journey because I know that uh, how you started and I know uh, what in my own small way I have contributed but you are making it very big. So oh. again congratulations for no, that. Thank you like so now I have to be like more accountable now. Yeah. 100%, 100%. No, I thank- tell you uh, credibility is one thing and visibility is another one. And in this world of social media Visibility only will not do anything if there is no credibility. No, yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. So if I say something, I always make sure that I do first and then I say something. Mm-hmm. Uh, you won't be uh, putting me in front of camera if you don't see that I I have no material to offer you. You see there is some value, right? Yes. And then only, so you can, you can shoot 20 pictures of me being at events, but what is the juice? What is the outcome of that? I strongly, firmly believe yeah. that uh, there should be some material. So it's a famous thing. You know what they say? Uh, uh, I, I I don't get it now. But the thing is, I won't tell you a story if I did not live that story. I'm living that story. It's my own story, yeah. right? It is not for the sake of just doing it or saying it, be volunteer, be volunteer. If I don't do it myself. How, 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 I don't, I don't imagine myself saying something and doing something else. I have to be the best example so I can put my, my, myself forward and say proudly, I do it. There is a benefit. I am the direct beneficiary of that, that value, which is, we call volunteerism. Yeah. And why not you do it, right? Yeah. But I always say this with one uh, very careful uh, line. If you are not in position to do uh, to to be a volunteer today, do when you are ready. Mm-hmm. Right? Our life situation, our financial financial situation. Our, we we all live in this this world where our needs are always you know it comes first. Your family comes first. But whenever you are ready, do it. And sometimes you you don't need to put yourself in like twenty four hours seven. Yeah. Just a small act of kindness. Yeah. That is your volunteer work. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, I was like last night working on my video editing on same topic, like how to, how what's the benefit when you start doing volunteering. And in that video, like this clip I mentioned, like even I uh, do some kind of volunteer acts like once in a month or maybe once in two months. Yeah. It doesn't matter like you have to do every day. No. But yeah. it surely matters. You You should try to give back something to community every day. Maybe you can provide kindness or help, ha- like help others. Yes. Like That's also a volunteer yeah. No, it is. It is big time volunteer work. Yeah. Remember, volunteer work can be something just helping your neighbor, removing yeah. the snow. Volunteer yes. work can be something very simple that if you see somebody who is struggling to cross the road, you offer the help. Yes. That is your volunteer work. Yeah. You don't need a certificate for that. You just need permission from this person yeah. that can I help you. That that simple word, can I help you, is all about uh, you, you being a volunteer. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I say uh, it's it's a core Canadian value. I always say this. Again, this is not which I I knew it before. Yeah. Somebody told me that. You learned it. I learned it. The journey. I learned it. Somebody told me that Canadian and it she told me very casually that it's a core Canadian value, Subjit. And then it just was itched in my, uh, it's it's itched now yes. that volunteering is a core Canadian value. And I go with that. Yeah, oh, It has perfect. nothing to do with anything else. Uh, you know, if I remove everything, you have like it's no, the value. You, you have no hidden agenda without, uh, behind it. Like no. you just want to help someone. There and, is no hidden agenda. Yeah, uh, you know, there shouldn't be any like when yes, you, when yes. you, like, we shouldn't uh, expect anything in return when we provide values, right? That's yeah. that's what I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that expectation will not help you to do the genuine work. Yes, okay? yes. So if you really want to do some authentic work, go without expectation. Go without expectation. And you will be known for that. Uh, you know, a human being is a smart brain. It's not a dumb brain. It is a very <laughs> smart brain. Uh, people will recognize it, people will realize it, people yeah. will see it. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. 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 So, like, I came here in Canada uh, in December 2017 and I believe like it's almost been a decade for you since you're living here, right? This is our new home now. Yeah. So, I personally believe like, if you are willing to act and take action, like, and you can help 
uh, around you people around you canada will offer you the opportunities you just have to grab it like that's my perspective but what's your perspective uh, perspective on it like what's your thought you you are younger than me in terms of both age and experience in canada yeah you are the best example of what you just said act you need to act you yeah. need to take action yes right you may have 20 plans but plans will just sit idle if you don't have any action toward those plan yeah so that's it simple like if you have a plan you need to act on that plan that's it yeah. opportunity wise that's why we call canada a land of opportunities mm-hmm. that's why majority of immigrants which includes international students yeah. which includes even refugees they end up in being running their own businesses that's why they are very successful yeah that's so interesting like right? Uh, I I know some people who still don't believe like there's opportunity around them. I I just feel like they are just not seeing on the right way. You just maybe uh, narrow your vision and see focus on one thing and you would be surprised like there are so much things oh, I yes. can I was it was case with me like I narrow down my vision. I just thought like okay, this is my layout. I'm going to go here in 5 years, 10 years and suddenly like opportunities start coming to me. Like and i just believe it would be the same for everyone like you have to just seeing on the right direction and two things i will say in this you said focus you know there is a lens yeah and you can actually burn the fabric or paper with the lens yeah. but that only will happen when you focus that lens yeah right same thing in life same thing in your career i always say this have some good positive people in your life If you have those positive people in your life who are uplifting every conversation every meeting with them if it is uplifting you are very lucky to have and in my life I do have those positive people and some mentors and also some critics yeah because you won't go far if you don't have critics no some yeah. of some of some of those critics will actually don't believe in you but they will be still your best friend yeah. right so they are needed they, they are, are needed right they, they they actually like tell you like you are doing this wrong you wrong. have to make it right yes so but that is their vision yes but if you concentrate on no matter whether it is a job or whether it is a career change or whether you are just struggling to find the path while you are settling down in canada you just go with one notion that one day you will do it you have a plan you are working on that plan and clear the basic rules basic rules are very simple do everything in a canadian way mhm another thing which is the most important thing as i said have good mentors have good positive people in your life who uplifts you every day yes or you can simply follow them like if you follow social media you follow them but what i mean you know giving a personal touch like the way you are sitting with me and we are talking and i have seen your journey uh, and many people have seen my journey from yeah. from 10 years like you know i've been in touch with them so having all that combination of everything will put you at the right orbit in in the right orbit and you will get what you want be it a job be it a promotion be it whatever you want to do yeah. except winning lottery yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah you will be lucky no, if you yeah. win the lottery right <laughs> yeah that's that's interesting uh, we we talk about like what canadian uh, what international student or maybe immigrant can achieve in canada but tell me about yourself like when you landed here did you have any particular target in your mind oh, like well. like this this <laughs> i i have this desire oh, i have to do I this i tell you i'll be very honest uh, i think i i have not shared this uh, many times yeah <laughs> uh, but thanks for this opportunity my only thing was to be a billionaire okay that's money yes but i tell you the moment i landed that that was not even close to me but but mm-hmm. the remember my my background also which country and which state i am coming from yeah. right it's yeah. a, it's a very rich state uh, and there are many nris non resident indians right? but that money part just faded away on the very day first day not because my dreams were shattered no mm-hmm. but beyond that the way uh, our very first day happened how the life moved on from that day yeah. money part was not even in picture oh R- right but you know that big thing was there like you know it's dollar sign but what changes that the kindness the kindness of the very first day the very first few hours after landing 
the friendliness of people yes. uh, and the coziness of this place. Though this was our first visit to to Canada as as a landed immigrant, like me, my family, uh, it it changed everything. It changed everything, and then that dollar sign just vanished. <laughs> it just went away. Yeah. Uh, and I do believe money is important. But money is not everything. No, no right? it's not. Yeah. But it is important factor. I I don't undermine the value of money. One should one should earn. One should yeah. one should not undermine this because that is how we we survive. We thrive also, yeah. and we are also in position to help others. Right. Yeah. But honestly, you know, I was confident about job. I was confident about j- um, money and all that stuff. But I wanted to m- make big money. Right, that is a kind of a kid's uh, dream, but that was the dream. I'm, yeah. I'm just honestly sharing with you. Yeah, no, thank you. I have you a good so life much. now. I, I, I came from a very good life. Uh, I went through that struggle of mm-hmm. initial settlement and all, but uh, that was the vision when I came that I will be multi-millionaire. You're gonna do something. Oh yeah, I don't know what it was, but yeah. but then you know what, life, you you roll, your 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 ball is rolling, your life is rolling. and then you go through that struggle and then you you stand up you you start fresh you start small and then um, you know yeah. it's it's a cycle of life that's it that's yeah. it and that that's so interesting like and then you start coming into volunteer world and you you have contributed so much in volunteer world and to the canadians here to the community that you actually received servants medal of uh, the highest medal servants medal in the volunteer from the governor like Did you actually expect you know, like five years before, like you no. you would be no. receiving that? Till date, uh, this is going to be my after winning that RBC Top Twenty Five Canadian Immigrant Award. Yes, uh, this is uh, something which which still sa- sometimes give me a real shock. Like wow, yeah. wow, having the medal from it's a Canadian highest honor. Yes, I received yeah. uh, actually this year in the month of March. And you witnessed that ceremony. Yes, I, I was there. Yeah. yeah, five years ago, I never thought that I'll get this highest Canadian honor. Yeah. Um, for 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 my contributions to the society. That's what I said in the beginning. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's taking notice that what you do. Yes. Right. So yeah, that is a greatest honor for me and for my family especially. Yes, right? of course. It's it's huge for me, which also gives, uh, gives uh, especially in case of my daughter, a very uh, unique example. a living example which which she she can always remember that this is how um her father uh, contributed right so that mm-hmm. is something which i believe is a kind of a legacy yes and now your daughter has something to be proud of yes my whole family my wife yes. my daughter yes. now my parents my extended family and my friends as well yes, yes. yeah even i am so proud of you oh, thank, thank yeah you. and like it's so interesting and uh, just recent in recent months You have created this particular theme, V Power. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about it. Like, why you created that, and why you chose V Power? Actually, see, uh, I was influenced, and I'm still influenced by the power of volunteering, right? So it's actually a thought which came as a family, mm-hmm. because my wife also is a volunteer. She was a volunteer. My daughter also is a volunteer. So a few years ago, we were thinking like we need to create something which is easy for anybody to understand what is V Power, right? So what we did is we converted Volunteer Power to V Power, uh-huh. and then for every single alphabet of V O of Volunteer word, we had some kind of abbreviation to that. So it is easy for people to understand what volunteer, volunteer what is. is volunteer. It is my definition. Mm-hmm. It is my definition coming from my experience. as a volunteer yeah. but then you know what nowadays you everything is about branding everything is about like easy way to understand it's my way not only for me but when i am asked what does volunteer means to you what is volunteering means to you that is the easiest way so i call it v power volunteer yeah. power and i dedicated that v v power and i created a poster you can show your audience that poster yeah, later on yeah i'm going to show poster somewhere in the video like yes. what the actual v, v power, power means and i dedicated that v power v power came um few years ago but in 2017 when canada was uh, celebrating a 150th birthday i created that poster with help of someone uh, who's also an international student 
and then I dedicated that poster to Canada. Uh, wow. wow! To all the volunteers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's so interesting. Wow. Yeah. So that this one thing, like, I really want to ask you now. Whenever I meet you, or whenever I see you meeting someone, someone like maybe an immigrant or international student who just landed, who are still scared, right? But you always have to say one thing. Like you, I always uh, saw you saying one thing. Get out from your comfort zone. Like you cannot expect different things if you are doing the same things. Mm. So why, why is the why is the reason? Because I remember I remember you saying the same words to me, and I remember saying you saying those words to my friend. Like why do you believe like uh, you have to get out from comfort zone and do something if you want to expect something? Very, very good question. Yeah. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so to me, comfort zone is you are used to do certain things in certain way. That is in a different place, different country, in different environment, different culture. Then you move to Canada. Yeah. It's a different ball game. Yes. Yeah. Different environment. Like if you're coming from any South Asian country, especially from India, even the way you drive is different the way you drive here. <laughs> yeah. If the driving is different, your comfort zone will change. Mm -hmm. Right. You get used to driving very soon. But why not to you get used to of other things? Be it again your job hunting, be it again your settling down in Canada, be it going to visit uh, a bank or a doctor's place, be it in the in the habit of stay in the line, right? It can be very small thing, it can be very big. But comfort zone is the way you are born, the way you are raised, the way you are educated, and the way you have established uh, to live your life in a different country. But Canada or any other country, if you even move to a different country, way of life would be different. Yeah. So majority of human beings, and including me, that comfort zone is a comfort zone. And comfort zone will not give you more of challenges because you know yeah. the ABC of it. When you change your place, when you change entirely, you know, you travel thousands of miles and come to Canada. <laughs> what stops you to go out from your comfort zone and start doing things differently? And that's why I say, the best way to learn and to transition from this comfort zone, establish a new comfort zone, and the channel is your volunteer work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because that is where your learning will happen. That is where you will learn how you conduct yourself in the Canadian job market or in your social life in Canada, yeah. because things are different. Every single aspect of life is different in Canada. And that you mentioned like volunteer world is actually a, a very good opportunity to uh, if you want to learn something else yes. because people are not expecting much from you. They're just expecting your time, your kindness and your effort. And you are also not getting paid most of the time. So you have time, you have the, you can learn actually experience from it and you can use that experience to for your personal growth. Uh, is that the same you were trying to I, say? I, you know, you put it beautifully in whatever it encompasses. Yeah. It comprises of all the all the things you have mentioned. Oh, perfect. Yeah? Yeah. perfect. Now it just got my attention. Like you mentioned, you just jump into fear and took that bus. I, I remember like I read the same thing in your book. Like, And this is like one of my favorite section. Uh, when you say like, just face your fear. And you might be surprised, like uh, so many opportunities can come from that uh, con confrontation you can have with the fear. Uh, what was the story when you wrote that particular uh, thing, line, that you have, when you start facing your fear, opportunities will come to you. Uh, why you say so? Why you believe in that? When I, again, it's my, my way of thinking, yes. fear will overpower your thinking. When fear overpower your thinking, you cannot think about opportunities. You can't think about job search and all that stuff, right? So I believe if you fight your fear at the right time, you 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 get over with it, and then you can see all the opportunities. If your mind is occupied with fear, what else you can think about? Yeah. Yeah. So you know different ways to beat fear i i you know it's it's a, again different topic i'm not expert in that yeah, but yeah. i have my own way to handle my own fears then it was a bus i fought that fear and i overcame and uh, and especially mentioning about a book i wrote that in a flow yeah right but my story it's 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 my story and i live with that story every single day i keep on adding yeah. my experiences i keep on 
thinking about my my past and my present and my future also yeah now i just like want to add you like uh i really this yeah, the story you mentioned here like this is your story and this is like very inspiring like i i would just recommend everyone to just have this book at least once and read your story and hopefully they can get some value in their life after get your experiences they will experience like yeah this is these are some of the things every everyone uh, faces and you can change change your future with taking actions so i would i would love to have uh, share this book in the description box if anyone want to have it but before that like uh, i i i got this book from the library is there any other way like you can get access for if you want yeah, to have yeah yeah you can uh, you can write to me and i will uh, you know just pay it by paypal and you will get your book oh, or perfect. you can go to amazon uh, my book is on amazon you can buy it from amazon yeah. and if you are in peel region which is the part of um ontario uh, mississauga brampton and town of caledon mm-hmm. it is available in all public libraries especially in brampton and mississauga yeah that's... so yeah i mean the best way is to go um on amazon and get your book but if you want my signature then paypal <laughs> is the best one you yeah. you pay through paypal and you get the book oh i yeah. want your signature i have this book hopefully i, I will get the signature, signature today <laughs> and by the way i am an accidental author Oh, so uh, it is not. It was not planned. Yeah, tell it me. It was like, not yeah. planned. This book was not planned. But uh, as my visibility was growing, as I was meeting many people, attending many public events, speaking, uh, every now and then, people asked me that you do you have your book? Do you have the story written somewhere, published somewhere? And I asked like, what do you mean? They said, do you have your book? And I said, no. but it is also interesting that uh, somewhere the title of this book was already been mentioned in 2010 oh so yes this is how the life goes in full circle yes yeah and that the the title of that article small maybe 10 12 pages um, 12 10 to 12 lines of that article the title was same shoes different door my idea of same shoes different doors means same shoe is shoe of an immigrant a refugee or a student or a visitor or whoever is in canada we all come to canada from a different country right so yes. we are wearing the same shoe of somebody from outside but different door we go through different journeys no mm-hmm. one journey is same so my journey is same shoes but different, different doors. doors that's how it 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 came in a shape of a book Mm. and uh, by profession i am an engineer that is my past my present i am in non profit but this book is uh, i call it a accidental, accidental author. author author yes so yeah, yeah i became yeah, an author that's also. interesting way to address it but you just mentioned like it was already addressed in 2010 the the title of the book yes uh, what was the story like how it published uh, like that was artic- it done by you oh yeah i oh, wrote yeah, that okay. article okay. Uh, there was some uh, there is a website and they were running some kind of uh, uh, a competition that if you are a recent newcomer to canada uh, send your uh, little story and how the website helped you in your initial phase in life and i just shared that how this wonderful website was helpful and uh, then i just gave the title same shoes different doors and i still don't remember why i gave that title then but then in my journey i realized that this is why the title came like I here I want to really ask you like is there any particular challenge you are looking for like for a short term or maybe for uh, for a long term like is there any particular thing you looking for nowadays like you don't have to tell everything but uh, idea like now you are going through like you want to achieve that. I always I always prepare for for future challenges right mm-hmm. both personally and professionally now my biggest challenge is to be black belt in next 3 to 5 years. Wow. That wow. is what I am working towards. I'm already a purple belt. Wow. Uh, and I'm learning karate from one of the best instructors in 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 my city. So yeah, so that is my my challenge. Like yeah. other than that, you know, your life goes on. Professionally, you you grow, you shrink. Yeah. That is part yeah, of yeah. life. Yeah. But that is another part of me to be physically fit, to stay fit 
and to achieve my black belt in next five years. Yeah, and it may also help you to be more disciplined with your actions. Oh, it is already helping me out. Yeah. We've been into this practice from last three years and it has changed many things in, in my day-to-day -day life. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So, before we wrap up this video, like, there are a couple of questions I really want to ask and I just feel like these questions are really going to bring value to me and everyone who is listening and sure. watching this video. Let's say, you go, you do time travel and you meet Sukhjit who is just landed here in Canada 2009 with his family. With all the knowledge and experience you have today, what is the one advice you would give to that Sukhjit Singh? I will not change anything. No? No. I will not change anything. Just believe in, in yourself. Believe in yourself. In order to go through the journey, you need to go through the journey. Okay. There is no magic in anybody's journey. Yeah. Remember, the life is such that it has, the things are created in a way that you have to go through that cycle. Yes, yeah. If I would not have been fired from that job, <laughs> I might have ended up in being in, in that job for the rest of my life. Yeah. Be it uh, taking the uh, bus, like if I was not fearful, uh, it would not have been part of my book now. So, like, right? you might be different, Sukhjit, if you change anything now. Yep. I, yeah. I won't change anything. Uh, I, I won't change anything. If that's interesting, yeah, yeah. yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So, just yes, last question. And la I, I just wanted to be more interesting. That's why, like, I'm, I'm making it this way. Let's say, like, you have given this power. Like, whatever you say to people, they will follow them. So, what would you give advice or so to say anyone? Like, if, either is like international student or immigrant or anyone refugee is coming to Canada uh, and he, he or she has their dream life they want to achieve. What one advice you would give to them and they have to follow them? Like, what is one suggestion you want to say to them? Don't stop. Uh, like, this, I am not saying for the first time. You might have heard it many times. Don't stop believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Don't stop dreaming. You know, don't stop anything else. Just plan. Yes. Be aware. Plan. Do it strategically. Initially, if all this is telling, uh, somebody is telling me initially, I will say I won't listen to you because I have multiple other things. And I do understand. Yeah. Putting food on the table is my priority. I won't, I won't believe in the dreams and all that stuff. But what I say, have multiple plans. You know, you may have a plan C, which can become plan A and plan yeah, A can yeah. become plan D. Right. I again, you know, it's a flow of life. But if somebody comes to me, I will I do my best to tell them to show them the pictures, uh, not pictures. If if somebody comes to me to get that information, I make sure that I give them the right information, give them the right resources. Human again, human brain is powerful enough to process that information. Nobody needs anybody, but everybody needs everyone. everyone. Yeah. In some way or the other way, you will get that help. Yeah. You will find your own niche. There is no expert advice and every single advice is ex expert advice. Yeah. Right? So go with that flow. That's old. Take yeah. Take whatever you can, absorb and leave what is not meaningful to you at that moment. Uh -huh. It may become meaningful later on. Later on. Right? Yeah. But I will never impose that do these three steps and your life will be success. No, I don't give any guarantee to anyone. Nobody gave it to me and I don't pass. But yes, I am now in position to tell that these are the steps which are must. I, do it is a simple example. Yes. I won't say if the driving is on the right hand side, I won't say start driving on the left hand <laughs> side. No. No. Yeah. No. Rules are rules. You follow those rules. And that rules, that rule, one or multiple rule, can be in your job search, can be in your settlement in Canada also. Yeah. Yes. No. So, in nutshell, go with the flow, meet right people, get the right information, and you will go, you will do fine. Yeah. yeah. And I would just add you like, also have the mindset to take action. Just don't oh, plan, yes. take action. No, 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 no. Take Positivity, action and then figure out the rest of what you're going to do. Action is very important yeah. if you want to achieve. And hey, you are so right. Yes. Just yeah. having plan will not do anything. You have to act, act. on the plan. Yeah. So, I I really like enjoyed the time we had here. Like, I really enjoyed oh, the conversation. You. Yeah. Likewise. Just, uh, just before we wrap up the video, like, how can the viewers 
can find you on the internet like if someone want to contact you is there any way like they can reach to you interesting story behind this uh, i was asked long back that how uh, if they google my name what will come and there was nothing on google at that point now i will only tell your viewers if you just put my name which is sukhjit singh you will get my contact details and you get in touch with me if if you are looking for some advice uh, i can only promise one thing that i don't sell and buy stuff i can only give advice based on my experience and my knowledge nothing beyond that there is no string attached wonderful. there is no string attached wonderful uh, thank you so much again like for oh, having me here my and, pleasure yes and i i really hope like this new year 2020 would be the best year for you and it it brings like it turns out to be best here till now oh thank you yes. very much thank, thank you. you so much for thank you very here. much thank you for having me on your show <laughs>